If you guys like couples gaming channels, then click the link down below. We play Sims over there too, and we would love to see you there. Hey guys, it's Fantasia, and welcome to another speed build. So today I'm actually doing the micro home challenge. So I wanted to challenge myself, and I actually did a micro home with Jonathan on our channel um, before this. We've put up two micro homes by now. I'm pretty sure there should be another one, but the first one we did, I feel like I didn't challenge myself as much with him. I feel like I put the living room and the bedroom combined. Like I had a bed in like the pull the little Murphy bed. I had that in the living room and it's still challenging, but I wanted to like really challenge myself this time. So I was like, okay, this one is just going to be the one that is my micro home challenge for sure. So I was like, I'm putting a bedroom in here, which is definitely possible, but it just makes things a lot more cramped. And I did test this house. Everything is functional. I did have to change a couple things that like if you download this on the gallery, um, you guys will see, we'll, we'll get to it when we get there, but <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that now, but just basically the house is functional. So that is amazing. So you guys, before we talk about the house and everything like that, we're going to do our notification fan tour and fam shout out. So this one goes to Nelly. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the Fanticorn fam. Welcome to the family. I hope you like it here and give Nelly some love. If you see her in the comments, you guys, and just I'm super glad that you found my channel and everything like that. So if you guys want a chance to be in a notification fanticorn fam shout out, all you have to do is comment down below on any video. You can comment anything you want or you can comment some unicorn emojis and turn your notifications on. Okay, so basically this is of course in Oasis Springs and I really wanted that vibe. I really wanted to build a micro home in Oasis Springs. Just like I don't know. It seemed like a cool idea for some reason in my brain because I wanted like the kind of modern looking roof and I just thought it would look really good on a really small home. And I actually feel like it really does. Um, I feel like it just makes the house look better because I mean, there's not that much shape to it. It's not a complete box, but it's like close enough. And I feel like having the roofs like this, it just adds more to it. So yeah, this house fits for... Well, yeah, this house, you can only fit one single sim. So you guys actually wanted that. That was requested. So here you go. Because <laughs> the first um, tiny build that I did was, well, it was a tiny home and it was a starter home. So this one's not a starter home or anything like that. So keep that in mind. Um, but uh, that one could have two sims. It was meant for like a couple, like a married couple. Um, you could totally have one sim in that house too, because I mean, it's just like, it's just the Murphy bed. It doesn't really matter. Like, yeah, it's like a double bed, but one sim can totally live there. I, I was just like picturing a young married couple living there. So this house, you can definitely only have one sim because there's just one single bed. And yeah, so in the bathroom, um, at first, you guys, first of all, I changed stuff around. But second of all, if anything looks like it's not functional, don't worry. In the end, it is. So the end result on the gallery, it is functional. So um, I had the bathroom one way and then I ended up changing it. Um, and I just, I don't know, I kept messing around with it. And then the final result of the bathroom, um, they still, for some reason, couldn't get to the sink. Like, even though it looked like they should be able to, um, all I had to do was just slightly move the toilet over like a little closer to the wall and then it just worked. So if you guys are trying to build tiny homes and for some reason your sim like can't get to something and it's like, what do you mean? It looks like you should get to that. Why can't you get to that? Try just turning move objects on and just moving it slightly more closer to the wall. You know, sometimes like in the Sims, things will be right up against the wall, like fridges, they'll be slightly away from the wall or you know, toilets and stuff like that. Just try pushing it a little closer and then it might make them be able to get to it. So it's definitely helpful with tiny, tiny homes, micro homes, small homes, whatever you're building. And yeah, so I actually managed to also fit a um, little dining area too. Uh, you know, it's not very big. Oh, and this house can have a doggo or a cat if you want, if you want to change out. I mean, if you want to put a litter box and stuff, I don't know where you're going to put that. I thought it was most fitting to have a dog because the dog can just run around outside in the yard space. There's space for the doggo and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, you know, they don't need a litter box and stuff. They pretty much just need their food bowl and then a, like a little thing with toys. Um, and yeah, you can add anything you want on the outside if you wanted to. So not that big of a deal. Um, <laughs> but yeah, th they could be there a little single sim that you're starting out with. Maybe not starting out with, cause again, it's not a starter house, but it's close to the starter house money. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's 20,000 something. 
something. Definitely over starter house range, but it's not crazy expensive either. So that was really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm happy about that. But <laughs> the you know, there's room to have a doggo big or small. Of course, it's a small house, but you can do that. So that's fine. I was happy about that. I just felt like I wanted just something else going on in the house, like other than just one sim living here. And I was like, I really want kind of stuff for a pet. So I did that. Um, also like guys, I, I built this at the most random time. It was like super late at night and I just got the sudden urge to build. I love building. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this pack has made me love building a thousand times more. Um, I just love it so much <laughs> and it's so much fun to me and I'm just having a fun time. So, oh yeah. Other thing, like I was going to say at the beginning, but then I said I would wait until uh, we get some furniture in the house and stuff like that. So in the bedroom, um, the little poof that is, looks like it's a seat, but it's actually a table that it did not work out. I really wanted that with the lamp and no matter how much I moved it, it wouldn't work. The only way it would work is if I literally completely submerged it into the dresser. And I was like, well, that's pointless. That looks stupid. So I just deleted it and I ended up putting a rug there. I think I did that off camera though. So just keep that in mind. I wanted to leave it in the speedball though, because I honestly think it looked really good, but of course it wasn't functional. And the point of this micro home challenge is for it to be functional. So I wanted to make sure it was, you know, you know, <laughs> so yeah, it just, it, don't worry. Everything works in the end. But anyway, yeah, I built this like super late at night and I just got super inspired to build for some reason. I can't stop watching builds. I can't like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> this pack has inspired me so much. Comment down below if it's done that for you. Um, I've told you guys before, like I've always built things, but I feel like I don't build that often. I've always enjoyed building, but more so decorating. And I feel like the tiny homes are perfect because you're not building the exterior for like eons. I feel like that kind of just sometimes it could be stressful when you're trying to build this like big house and make it look good from the outside. I've done it, but tiny homes are like so my thing. I love just being able to build the outside like decently quickly and then like decorating with landscaping and like decorating the backyard to make it look more put together and everything like that. Putting like a driveway with the car and everything and then just decorating the inside as much as I can. Obviously, you can't decorate like crazy with tiny homes because you want the Sims to be able to get to places. And if you start adding way too much clutter, it's going to be like, oh, your Sim can't get here. <laughs> but I feel like you can still clutter them up enough and you can do little tricks and stuff like that, like putting stuff on top of the fridge and things like that, getting shelves on the wall and put like a whole bunch of clutter on the shelves. So that's nice. Also, in this house, um, I really wanted like the Sim to whoever lives here to be into something. They have like just, just gardening. They have a sitting area. They have laundry outside. I put laundry outside. So we did that and yeah, just, just a bunch of stuff outside. And then they have the flower arranging thing and the beekeeper theme bob. Um, I'm like flopping with words right now. Okay. The video is going to wrap up soon. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to finish what I was going to say before the video just ends. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted stuff to be on the outside for the sim to do because we don't have an easel or anything like that and no computer. So I imagine the sim is very like outdoorsy, whoever lives here and they like being out in the back, gardening, doing bee stuff, getting their honey, arranging flowers, all of that fun stuff, having people over and have a, having a water balloon fight in the back um because yeah i have a little water balloon thing in the back so also you guys i do use a variety of packs in this video so keep that in mind i use a bunch of different packs i don't know exactly which ones obviously tiny living i use like outdoor retreat we use uh cats and dogs uh seasons lots of things um i think like a couple of stuff packs and yeah so keep that in mind i use a lot of packs it'll tell you on the gallery which ones i used and my origin id is real fantasia it's always down below it's the same as all my social media and I think that's pretty much it, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this speed build and um, random rocks I added at the end, which are not in the screenshots, but I just, I just don't worry about that. They're there on the gallery. <laughs> so you guys, I am going to wrap this up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.
You gotta listen up, listen up. That's not a 